What's up guys, Sal here. So the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra and the Z Fold 2 has gotten all of the hype recently. But it's good to remember Samsung's other and arguably more important flagship, the Galaxy S series is expected to get an update in February in about 4 months. And we already know quite a lot about the Galaxy S21 handsets courtesy of leaks and rumors. And we have some new information today that paints a very good picture for the Galaxy Z Fold 3 launching in the second half of next year and not so good one for the Galaxy S21 lineup. The good news is the Z Fold 3 is going to be the first Samsung phone to have an under display camera technology according to the latest information from South Korea. Which also means that Samsung won't be able to premiere an under display camera on the Galaxy S21 handsets. The reason is being reported that the production yield is very low due to the complexity of the technology and there won't be enough displays with this tag by early January which is when Samsung starts mass producing the Galaxy S21 handsets. South Korean media reports that Samsung is working on a better solution for the under display camera that won't compromise as much on image quality as current technology. Right now they have two options and the one they are going for is called HIAA2 Hole in Active Area 2. HIAA1 is basically the tech we have on devices like the S10, S20, Note 20 etc where a hole is cut with precision with the help of a laser for the selfie camera. In HIAA2, instead of one big hole, they cut plenty of minute holes on the display cover over the selfie camera so that light can pass through these holes onto the camera sensor and at the same time there are enough pixels on the display to show the content. Drilling these minute holes with laser is a complicated process and the yield rates aren't satisfactory to meet the demand of the Galaxy S flagship series which sells in tens of millions per quarter. Since the Z Fold 3 is a foldable phone and it's not gonna sell even close to what the S21 series is gonna sell, the Korean media says Samsung is planning to premiere this tech on the Z Fold 3 instead as they can effectively produce this camera tech to satisfy the demand. Now there is another approach companies are taking into making the under display camera smartphone a reality and it's by using a transparent display over the selfie camera. Korean media says Samsung has also considered this option but this approach is even more complicated than HIAA2 so if Samsung is launching an under display camera for next year they're gonna use HIAA2 tag and not the transparent one because they have made significant improvements in the former. So the bottom line, the Galaxy S21 series will use the punch hole camera just like the Note 20 except the hole diameter is going to be smaller than the Note 20 Ultra. So it seems Samsung is ending the exclusivity with good luck, a UI customization app. The app was only available to a handful of countries for these couple of years but now Samsung is making it available to more markets. As of now, a lot of European countries are getting it including Germany, Switzerland and Netherlands and more countries will get it soon. Good luck is one of the best options from Samsung to customize your smartphone. For example, you can change the stock boring multitasking menu into something like this which looks amazing. Anyway, let me know what you think about S21 not getting the under display camera tag in the comments down below. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.